Good morning, folks. We've got top science news, a bit more evidence that the sun's magnetic terminator is underway, and an example of a place that hits the quarter harmonic of the disaster cycle with volcanic eruptions. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun, with the coronal holes turning in. Big one on the south coming is another sign of the terminator, and of course that means more CMEs, which continue pounding off the now departed sunspot, even behind the limb, we can tell she's firing them off away from Earth. Solar wind is only minorly variable, so let's go to seismicity, where the largest of the day struck Hawaii. Hopefully that's not the beginning of another volcanic uptick there. We are starting the articles today at small-scale details of particle interactions, and they discovered a new one. This is critical because these interactions play in cosmology as one of the unseen electric effects they needed to see, and they see it now but also on space weather interaction with the terrestrial magnetic field. That was actually the focus of the paper, the interactions at the field boundary and interaction zones. But it's on us to realize that electrons are electrons across the cosmos and this new dynamic is only new in discovery. Cool little bit up next about petroglyphs. Apparently the darkened rock color into which they carved the images is a bacterial effect of manganese to protect from the sun. How appropriate. And in the example they give, we see numerous squatter man features and 10 points if you can spot Anthony Peratt's circle of beams from the Los Alamos lab. Either they had a plasma lab all that time ago, or they watched it play out on Earth. Up next, we wouldn't have the morning show without at least a little slice. This one taken at a study that concludes a star cluster is dominated by black holes. Did they spot all those black holes? No. Have they even spotted one? No, they just struggled to fit the tidal tails of the group into their model, so they said it's a bunch of black holes. Seriously, science. Up next is a great one, though. Remember when we said the rings in protostellar systems were magnetically driven and not gravitational instability? It is now confirmed that the chemistry of the early solar system is separated by the star's magnetic field, and not just its poloidal system, but its current sheet that ripples through the debris and molecular dusty disk. It controls how much of what elements are found at a given distance from the star. Up next is a solid, large-scale view of solar activity and Earth interaction. Two of the critical things to see in this one are the 400-year grand minimum cycle, which shows up in alternating high and low activity periods, and they also confirm the maximum energy range for solar flares, right in the area of the X100 and higher. Always good to get those confirmations, and since that means Sun-like stars and M stars have something in common, it's very nice to see a different paper saying that exact same thing. Now, to properly treat today's top story, we need to go back to yesterday's, the 6,000-year Heinrich Bond cycle. What triggers the Heinrich events? The most important paper of the year, and possibly since the identification of that solar cycle in the first place, the 6,000-year and 3,000-year flare cycles, 3,000, 6,000, and scaling up to 12,000, we must only remember that most parts of the world have errors in the dating they present. Some are too high, some are too low. Some stacks, when compared, have some events that look too young and others that look too old, like in this famous comparison from 2002, shows how much error can accumulate over time and distance on Earth. Well, folks, Italy is one of the places where the dating comes back just slightly too young. You need to add about 100 years per millennium once you get back any meaningful time. And with them saying there were major volcanic events here 2,700 years ago, 5,400 years ago, 8,300 years ago, and 11,000 years ago, let's take the standard adjustments for Italy I just mentioned and make those 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, and 12,000 years ago. It would match the cycle duration and timing as we know it from the rest of the world. Sometimes when three or four coincidences line up, you just have to stop thinking it's a coincidence. We greatly appreciate your support. If you missed yesterday's morning news, that top story was indeed the biggest story of the year. It metaphorically screams at us not to deviate. The path we've chosen is the correct one. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.